Hey everybody, Martin here. And today on the channel, I'm gonna try to do a tutorial where I show you the workflow of how I convert a print and play PDF file from one layout, one format to another. Um, and basically, if I can visualize for you what I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna use this print and play file that's on my screen right now. And this is from a game called Tir Na Nog. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And as you can see, this print and play file, which I tried to print last night, is laid out in landscape orientation on the page, eight cards to a page. And um, this didn't work out for me for a number of reasons. Um, I'm not used to working with a print and play file laid out like this. Plus, if you look closely, it's actually not centered uh, on the page here. It's actually shifted about three millimeters over this way, um, which was a problem for me when I was trying to print this double-sided. So long story short, this is the file that I got from the publisher, the print, the, the print and play file that I got from the publisher, and I converted it to this. So this is a what I consider to be a standard nine card nine card grid uh, print and play format. As you can see, there's nine cards on the page and they are arranged in portrait format. So the cards are standing up rather than over here where the cards are kind of like laying down lengthwise. And this is the format that I'm more comfortable with. Plus which you can fit nine cards on a page instead of eight. So basically the point of this video is I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this and all of the tools that I used and the techniques that I used along the way. At least that's the idea. So join me, not at the table, join me on my computer and let me show you how to do this. All right, so the first thing I needed to do was I needed to take um, this guy and I needed to open it up in an app called Pixelmator Pro um, so that I could start to edit the PDF and to break apart this layout uh, in the PDF into individual card images. So I'm gonna try to do that right now, and I'm gonna... All right, now it's opened up in Pixelmator Pro, which is an image editing program for the Mac, um, which is, I should mention that I am on a Mac computer right now. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tool called Slice or Export for Web, and it gives me this tool that looks like a chisel and I'm gonna go ahead and start to make sections around these cards here. So I am drawing boundaries around these cards and what I'm doing now is I'm fine-tuning these boundaries to be the exact size of the cards. All right, a little more over here. Okay, so now I've got slice one, and I'm gonna go ahead and make slice number two over here. All right, and so we have now gotten all eight cards on this page almost properly sliced out here, or at least outlined. Just double checking here, making sure that I'm happy with my outlines. I want to get as much of the cards as possible. Okay, so I hope you can see that on the camera that I've got eight slices here. And you can also see it up here in this uh, side here. And what, what this is gonna do is it's going to actually export all these slices into PNG format, and then we'll output them to individual cards. So let's go ahead and hit the export button here and it's going to tell me where I want to put them let's just make a new folder sure let's call it untitled why not and then let us hit export here's untitled folder and inside here you now see all of the cards I just exported they are uh, in they are individual card images but they are still in uh, landscape format, so that doesn't work for me. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, actually select these all, 
And I'm going to hit Command R on my uh, keyboard. And now that converts the cards into portrait format. Next thing I'm going to do is, because right now they've been named default names, which is slices one through eight. I'm going to select these. I'm going to secondary click. I'm going to hit rename. And these are encounter cards. And I want to rename them to this kind of format here. Card, encounter, and then a number at the end. So let's go ahead and rename them. Great. So now all of my cards are in portrait orientation, individual card images, and they are named in a sensible way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those names and I'm going to make a new document. And I am going to put those cards, those file names, here in this spreadsheet. So now I've got a spreadsheet here and in the very first column I've just put fronts or to, to mean card fronts at, as the title of the column and then we've got the names of the five of the individual cards encounters one through eight. I'm only going to work with eight cards for, for this demo. I'm not going to bother trying to like uh, do all 96 encounter cards of this game for you just for purposes of the demo. Great. So now we have this untitled folder, and we've got a spreadsheet inside. And I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to make a subfolder of these cards, and I'm going to call this images. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet app, and I'm going to export a version of this spreadsheet to CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Values. So let me go ahead and do that now. And I'm, I'm fine with the name cards. So we export that into our untitled folder. So now if we take a look in our untitled folder. We've got a folder with all of the card images that are individual now. And we've got a CSV document that contains uh, references to all of their file names. So far, so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to launch an app called Multideck. Here it is. And what I'm going to do here in multi-deck is these are actually bridge size cards. So I'm going to specify bridge size. That's 2.25 inches uh, wide by 3.5 inches tall. I'm going to select the CSV file, which is in the untitled folder. And I'm going to select the image folder that contains all of those card images. There you go. I've selected it. And so Multideck, by the way, is an app that basically allows you to rapidly prototype cards uh, and it runs natively on the Mac. So this is uh, where I'm working now with my cards. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to the layout view. And now you see the outline of the uh, bridge size cards um, that, uh, that, that we're going to reformat those cards into. So I'm going to go ahead and add an image item here. And I'm going to make the image item the size of the bridge size car that I have here. And this is going to all make sense in a moment. OK. Now that I've done that, I'm going to preview my work. Boom. So now uh, I have gotten the images of the cards inside of my bridge size format in multi-deck. And these are the eight cards that came from that original print and play PDF. Okay, we're 10 minutes into this video and they are now individual cards ready to be reformatted. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's reformat. I am actually going to go ahead and hit the print button and dismiss this error message because it doesn't matter. And now this is a print preview of what's going to come out. Um, this is a nine card grid. So the multi-deck is designed by default to output a nine card grid um, card format. I can mess around with this format, but this is where I have it set to because this is the format that I am familiar with and that I prefer. So basically, we are now almost a couple of steps away. We're just one step away from being able to um, uh, go from the original landscape format, eight cards to a page, 
to a nine card grid, still eight cards to a page because we're working with eight cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the PDF button down here. I wanna save that as a, P as a card PDF. Uh, let's see, let's just call it cards and counters in the untitled folder. All right, let's take a look at this untitled folder now. And this is the PDF that we just created. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. So in about 11 minutes, 12 minutes, we've gone from, uh, where is the original PDF that I was working with? We've gone from this, this landscape format, to this, which is nine card grid format PDF. Like I said, I'm more familiar with this format I'm not familiar with this format and I, it caused me problems when I tried to work with it last night. So I just did a few steps using a few tools that I have and now I've gotten it to, I've exported a PDF in a nine card grid format. And if this was a complete PDF, I could now go ahead and print this out. I could now, uh, and in fact, I do have examples of what I printed out last night. So here is the game all printed out now. This is all 96 cards. And I actually even added the card backs. So the, this is going to be a double-sided print. And uh, it, it is already a double-sided print. And the next step actually, now that I printed it out, is I'm gonna insert each one of these sheets into my um, scotch laminating pouches so each one of these sheets is going to go into these laminating pouches and then we are going to run them through my laminator which is right over here and you're getting a bonus look at some uh, root meeple and meeple tokens that I'm going to be using for this build actually all right so let me just uh, point this back to me there you have it by request um, Hopefully that made sense. I know that I threw a whole lot of information at you in a very short amount of time, but essentially that is my workflow and the tools that I use and the techniques that I use when I um, convert any print and play PDF from one format to another. So, I hope that that was enlightening for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments section below. I'd be very, very happy to uh, go into further detail about this workflow that I just breezed through very, very quickly here. But at least I hope I got to, to be able to show you um, what the steps that I take to be able to convert a print and play PDF file from one format to another. Until next time, this has been Martin. Thanks for watching.